Here we have modeled, loaded, analyzed and designed a 3D steel framed building in Masterframe. And we will now run through some examples of the different types of connections required. We have simple connections, such as beam to column fin plates, beam to beam flexible end plates, braced bays and base plates. We also have a portalized roof, which means moment connections for our beam end plate to column haunchet eaves and beam to beam end plate apex connections. The software will allow us to design for up to 25 various connection types based on industry standard green book connections. We will look at six common connection types today. Before we connect to the integrated steel connections design module, we will set up design groups within master frame. Design groups allow us to define a common set of design parameters for groups of similar connection types and will ensure connections are designed to the same specification. This will allow for a more controllable and rational design to be achieved for when we get into the steel connections design module. So let's call our first connection group type, group one, first floor beam to column fin plates. We will assign it a design brief and add a group of similar connections in the frame. We will create a second design group, group two, first floor beam to beam end plates, and again assign the relevant brief and connections in the model. We will do the same for group three braced elements and group four braced column base plates. For our moment connections design groups, we will also title and assign the relevant moment design brief to both group five, eaves haunch connections, and group six, apex connection. Once defined, we can proceed to the steel connections design module, which intelligently connects directly to your 3D master frame model. Importing forces, geometrical joint configurations and section properties to integrate and interactively design your structure conveniently within the one structural software package. Upon startup, we can assign design methods for our connection types. For now, we will go with the default settings by clicking Apply. Our default joint template library will then appear where we will begin by selecting within Simple Connections and Fin Plate Columns for design group number one. We will select the default option which will detect that this particular joint arrangement requires the design of up to four beam to column fin plates. The design will automatically integrate the loads from master frame model and therefore ensure the design considers the worst case loading combinations for the most critical connection within your design group. The default arrangement did not pass. This is highlighted by the blue background on the design calculation output pane, so we can now make some slight amendments by adjusting the connection configuration. We will add an extra row of bolts and adjust the fin plate to column well to satisfy the design checks in the software. Further changes we can make to the connection include amendments to the end plate, section types, and tie forces. Now we can create a new brief for our design group two, our simple beam to beam flexible end plates. Add a new brief, Again, selecting the relevant connection type in the template library and highlighting the relevant connection within the frame. Beyond the regular amendments, the designer can specify flange toe plates within the software for situations where regular beam-to-beam -beam web connections can be problematic. Our bracing connections allow for a large range of bracing types to webs and flanges of both columns and beams under axial tension or compression loads. Here we will check the design of our braced elements design group by again adding a new brief, assigning the default connection type, which will again integrate all the geometry and worst case loads from master frame. We can design the gusset plate to connect to the flange of the beam only, or to the column flange or web via an extended beam end plate. The software again allows us to check our bolt arrangements, welds and various gusset plate designs. We can then design our braced bay base plate, again considering horizontal and vertical loads from the model. In this case, we get a pass, but we also have the option to redefine our bolt arrangement, reinforce the connection using stiffeners, specify washer plates, aim in concrete foundation properties and introduce a shear key to help transfer horizontal loads onto the foundation. We will create a new design group for the moment connections. First for the haunch at eaves. Again, master frame will feed the loads and section properties into the relevant selected connection from the frame. And we can simply run an auto design within the software to come up with an arrangement. We can further amend the connection by including the design of haunched members, which can also be defined in master frame, specifying different bolt arrangements, end plate details, and weld sizes. We can also reinforce the connection using various types of stiffeners to both the column and the beam. Lastly, our apex connection design group can be checked, again with the ability to carry out an auto design. Once more, we can also amend the bolt configuration end plate details and stiffeners if required. 
Once the design for our groups has been carried out, we will create a design output using the export to Word option within Masterframe for all the design briefs that we have just created in the software. For this functionality, you will require Office Tools, which comes as standard with our PowerPad and building design suites.